Hey everyone, J. Rowe Lights here, and this is part two of Zippo Talk with Chuck Riley. If you haven't seen that first part, go ahead, click the link in the description below. In this part, we will be focusing on Chuck Riley, the creator. He has a lot of customs and creations and exclusives that he has done over the years. And in this part, he is going to talk about that process and some of the things that he goes through to create those customs. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to j -Row Lights. The, uh, the next part that we're going to talk about is you as the creator. Uh, I think that's what a lot of us collectors really want to see because uh, uh, the, the following that you have when it comes to your own creations is really neat. How that is built up uh, over the, the years. When did you get that idea and when did you really start creating your own exclusives and uh and how many have you done throughout the years okay well it really started when i worked at the vintage guitar shop um i was collecting was like 2012 i was collecting lighters and so on at the time and i uh, convinced the store owner that we needed to have a zippo lighter with the store logo on it now i didn't design it i just pushed for the idea to do it but Fast forward to 2016, um, and when I stopped doing the guitar shop thing and did started doing lighters full time, um, I was like, you know, I, I just I kind of would like to just I didn't really actually think it was going to be a big part of what I was doing. I just wanted to occasionally put out a lighter. So the first one I did was called Make It Better with Bacon, and it was on a 41 replica was the laser color fill so it was the the modern equivalent to etch and paint first handful of lighters. well the first two lighters i did were numbered you could do a run of 30 lighters and they would number them all you know consecutively but even after that when they they um up the number you needed to do i still did like 30 lighters or whatever for a while that's that's when I started doing it, but it wasn't really a couple years into it. So maybe 20, well, into 2017, 2018, just I, I started liking it. People were enjoying it. The first uh, seven lighters I did, I, I roughed out the graphics, either drew it on paper or I had a very, very crude program. And I had two artists who helped me. Uh, one of them helped me with four or five and and another one helped me with two or three i can't remember the breakdown and they were both they were very good very talented they took my ideas and put it in a form that i could send to zippo <clears throat> but i i got to the point where it was like not anything they weren't doing but i just realized i've got to i've got to be able to do this myself so uh i bought a little more sophisticated program did that for a couple of years and then 2019 it was january 2019 um i i started using adobe illustrator and you know i just taught myself how to do it lots of lots of youtube videos mm -hmm. to, to figure out i mean i have an art back and art and music background in school and college but like i graduated high school in 85 <laughs> you know there wasn't i mean we had a computer class but it was it was really really basic and you know very early on everything i did in art was pen and pencil and paper and all that so uh, it was a bit of a challenge but you know i just just stuck with it and um have you ever used the custom feature that zippo has to offer on their website uh, you know or i have? have yeah i have um i just came out with a motor oil lighter it says mm -hmm. riley 66 motor oil well, while I was doing that design, I, I was really thinking about my dad a lot. Uh, he was he was known as Mr. Fix-It, and where he, he lived in a, a senior living community. And my dad was always very, very active, and he was the Mr. Fix-It there. He had his own garage, and it was called Riley's Garage. So I made, I did this design. It, it's very similar to the motor oil, but it's geared towards my dad. The colors are different. And I used the online thing. I had two made, one for me and one for my sister. And, you know, I would definitely recommend people, like if you want to 
commemorate something or you know it's got to be your design you can't yeah infringe on any trademarks but it really works it works great and they do a fantastic job and uh definitely highly recommend it yeah yeah i actually uh let's see i have it around here we uh we just got one in from yeah we, we just did the simple picture oh, yeah. First Father's Day, my wife gave me one, and we just kept it kept it going. Oh, but um, that's very cool. So I've seen a lot of people really on the uh, on the groups ask if people have submitted actual designs, not just like photos and things like that. So I've always mm -hmm. uh, always curious of, of how that happens. But but I guess now you kind of have a rep that you submit your designs through and they yeah i have a, a zippo distributor that i work with who's oh. fantastic and definitely someone i bounce you know ideas off of uh, yeah. my wife works with me so i'm constantly asking her questions and how's this look and yeah. you know do you like it or not how many custom design or exclusives that you how many have you created i i did a count um for so Riley 66, I've done 60. Wow. Um, so again, some of the early ones though, I limited to okay, let's say I made I made 30. 30 and it's over. You know, if yeah. they sell out, it's done. I actually had a friend tell me several years back, he's like, Why do you limit it? I said, Well, you know, this and that. He goes, Yeah, but what if you could sell a hundred of those? I'm like, well. 100 would be better than 30. <laughs> it takes time to sell it, though. You got to sit it, on it. <laughs> it does. Um, it could go a lot faster now. Early on, it was, yeah. you know, I think I numbered them and did them limited to, you know, peak people's interest. Do you keep one for yourself every time you create one? Uh, yeah, I keep one. Yeah. And then um, occasionally I'll keep two <laughs> if I yeah. want to carry one. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll carry one. I did want to, oh, I also wanted to say like, I think I did 20 lighters with Widowmakers. Okay. Where, you know, he'd have the idea most of the time he had the idea and then I'd work it up and he'd, you know, say nip this or yeah. change that or whatever. Like the D-Day ones, right? You did, y'all yeah. did, did yeah. collaborated on those, right? Yeah. We did, we did a happy birthday lighter. That's, yeah. It's funny. It's cool because a lot of times uh, you'll see on a Facebook somebody's birthday and they'll use that lighter to wish somebody happy birthday, which is kind of neat. A really neat design that you just came out with is the 540 Kitty. It's, it's the, recent. It's been it's out, I don't know, I think maybe earlier this year. Okay. how that process, how did you get into that 540 design process with uh, Kitty? Well, that is the first 540 I've done. I've since done two right. others, two other ones. Um, so I had to get a, a, a special template from Zippo um, for the layout because you've got to submit it. It's flat. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it really came out. I, I'm so pleased with it. I, I love that technique. It's so cool to have it all the way around the, the layer. And um, it's really durable, too. Like, I, yeah. I've carried a few of them and it, you know, doesn't wear very easily or anything. So um, yeah. definitely cool. we'll be doing some more 540s because yeah. they're real popular. You know, what's yeah. your inspiration behind the kitty? Well, I, I really love uh, mid-century modern art furniture. My wife and I both love it. Um, and that can be, you know, it's just the design elements from about 1940. To like 1960 and i you know this would be i think i think the first kitty came out a little over a year ago so oh wow um that was the on the white mat and yeah i think it's just retro kitty um so black cats are in a lot of mid-century artwork and you know not pottery but like you know uh clay then they fire it yeah they do all these cats so i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a cat um had to be a black cat and i wanted it to be um simple but 
but but cool. So I, I mean, I really didn't know what that meant. It's pretty vague. So I just like I don't really work things out on paper very often. I just open an Illustrator and I just sit there and hack through it. And it can be a long, painful process because sometimes I'll I'll know I don't like it, um, but I can't. It might take me a little bit to figure out, you know, why and how to fix it. But that one came together pretty quick, and it was the first lighter I had that, like, I don't know if I, I might have sold it out in a week. Wow. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I just, the three other ones, I just tried to just keep on that mid-century mm -hmm. vibe kind of thing. The Tiki Kitty was actually my youngest daughter's idea. She goes, I want to see yeah. Kitty on a beach, you know? And my wife said, she needs to be in a, uh, you know, an itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot. Yeah. Bikini. You know, so we did that. Um, I am 99.9% .9 sure it's going to, the next kitty lighter will be uh, Christmas kitty. Okay. I think the Christmas lighter this year is going to be kitty. And I've got some, some nothing down yet, but yeah. I, I think that one's going to be awesome. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to number it too. sequential, you know, yeah. consecutive numbered and all that. Now that that would be a cool 540. Yeah, yeah. The, the tough part right now on the 540 is you can't consecutively number them. That's right. I could work in the design, you know, one of yeah. 50 or whatever I do. You got a lot more real estate on the yeah. 540. So I don't know. I might I'll I'll think about that. That actually might be yeah. that might be worth pursuing too. And also kind of just jumping ahead too, is you've uh recently you've been authorized to use some of zippo's images in your creations too when, when it comes to incorporating zippo i know you have a lot of respect uh and how you want to represent their brand you know obviously yeah. they're not going to let you represent yeah, right. their brand in a negative way what's your vision when when you create a zippo and they authorize you to use their brand how, how does that work well Every design I do has to go through the legal process to make sure, you know, I'm not inadvertently using somebody else's trademark or whatever. But uh, with the EDC lighter, I use their flame, the, mm -hmm. the one that you collect. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I don't have that and, one yet, but. <laughs> well, well, I got it when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, I remember asking my rep and he's like, you know, what's the worst? The worst we'll hear is no. I was like, okay. Yeah. So it can't hurt to ask. So I asked as politely as I could. And I was really thrilled when they said, sure, we, you can do that. And also something unique about that uh, uh, EDC lighter, they came out with a extremely similar design, very similar to the design that you created with their image. Yeah. You know, it was like, I when I did mine, I really saw it as like a vintage Converse sneaker patch. Yeah. And I, I mean, that that's what theirs is too. Now theirs is cool because it's instead of saying Chuck Taylor, which it would set on the Converse, to have George G. Blaisdell is pretty doggone cool. So, yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, I if, if mine influenced them, then I take that as a very big compliment because yeah, they've got some great designers there. So as a Zippo retailer you know you can go to zippo and say here's some themes i'm thinking of or can you make me something in you know americana or this and and i like boxes so um really all i uh, that was all i the input i had you know i like zippo logos zippo boxes any of zippo's trademark icons and so yeah. on i love it and that was one of the designs they came up with. And it, it's killer. It, it's really cool. Like it literally, I was actually, um, I was still, I was on vacation when that came out. I, I had them drop on the website on a Friday because I was, I'd be home Sunday and I could <laughs> ship on Monday. And my phone was like blowing up. We were out on route 66 in Missouri and, um, it was really cool because that they went fast. They yeah, went really fast. They did say really neat looking lighter, and I it may, is. They did a I killer. I may job. have to pull the trigger on it after a <laughs> few of these deals I got going on. <laughs>
when you're creating designs, what is your goal behind your creation? You know, like what do you want to bring to other collectors through your designs? Well, I was joking with um, Widowmakers lighters this past weekend. We were at the Case show and we were set up with our lighters. I said, you know what? We sell happiness. We're selling happiness. You know, if, yeah. it, if someone buys my lighter and they enjoy it, I can't. I think it's a lot like what a musician, you know, I, I was a, did that for a while. You know, you get that from the audience or a chef who makes a meal and somebody appreciates it. I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm flattered that people like my designs. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I really thank you. And also Jeff uh, with Widowmakers for what y'all put into the Zippo community because that lighter palooza, best experience I've had in a while. It, it was amazing. Well, Chuck, I, I really appreciate you coming on today. And really, you've told us about you as the collector. You've talked about you as the creator. And, uh, and as I said earlier, I really appreciate what you do for the Zippo community, how you cater to the collector, how you, uh, you thrive on growing other collectors collections having the collector in your thoughts first even though you do this as as a business this is your full-time job and yeah. for you to have the collector uh above that that is very respectable so thank you for coming on and sharing with us a little bit about your collection and also how you create your own exclusives you're welcome thank you john and keep making the great videos that are they're really enjoyable and i i think the you know, the collectors uh, need good channels like yours. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, thank everyone for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also go to Riley66.com. Link will be in the description below. This is j Lights. We'll see you on the next one.